guys and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be taking you guys with me and showing you guys what i eat in a day in self-isolation or basically what i eat in a day regularly right now i it's like 12 30 i had a morning snack pretty late it was like 11 so i'm not that hungry for lunch so i'm probably gonna wait another 30 minutes to an hour to maybe eat for my morning snack i had some of half a cup of nuts and it was a like mixed nut mix so it had like cashews almonds um macadamias hazelnuts and brazil nuts and walnuts um basically a lot of different ones so yeah i'm just going to be working on some school stuff and then i will show you guys when i eat lunch so i'm getting ready right now to make lunch for lunch i'm just gonna make a kind of like a nourish bowl salad thing i usually make it with guacamole as like the, the topping dressing kind of thing but we are out of avocados so we're obviously going to get more because I can't live without avocados and I'm going to be making this tahini dressing. Um, it's just going to be like a quick dressing with literally just tahini, maple syrup, and lemon juice. But I'm going to see how that works out. And yeah, I'm going to show you everything I'm going to put in it and we will see the final product together. <laughs> So for the dressing, I just did a tablespoon of tahini, probably about a teaspoon of maple syrup, and then some lemon juice and water, and I mixed that all up, and then now I'm just going to add this to the salad. I have sweet potato, tempeh, chickpeas, tomato, and a bed of like spinach and like spring mix. So yeah, that's what we're going to be having for lunch, and yeah. That's going to be my fuel for right now. So it is after lunch. Now, that was a very late lunch. It was at like 2 o'clock, which is not really normal for me. Usually, I'll have lunch at like 12.30. Um, but yeah, I was surprised at how long those... That nut mix i had held me over but anyway i was actually kind of surprised at how good the, my lunch was i just kind of threw a bunch of things together that i had in the fridge um and it was pretty good i am not a tahini person i don't really like tahini i've tried tahini in everything like in cookies and um salads and sauces and i just can't like it i think it has a very bitter um distinct taste but I actually tried a different brand. I had been using the Whole Foods brand tahini, but I tried a different brand. I'm not sure what the name was, but I will leave it a picture of it right here. That's not the reason I'm talking to you right now. I mean, what would be a video without me talking about my recovery and just a life chat in general? So what I wanted to quickly mention is something that I think has been on my mind a lot today, and that is taking a break from exercise and Move, just resting in recovery and in life i mean so as you guys know if you've seen my previous videos i have been working to get my period back after not having it for the last four months um i had it for a while for six months and then i lost it again most recently and i'm working to get it back and that kind of coincided with my like unintentional kind of relapse where being immersed in school i wasn't really nourishing myself properly um but anyway i'm working on getting back on track and a lot of what's been hard has been movement so i've always been a very active person i've never really um enjoyed sitting down and like not doing anything i enjoy like trying new workouts lifting weights trying different and kind of just challenging my body and see 
like what it can do and like building muscle and stuff like that and taking a break from exercise has been really hard for me and that it's like I see a, it's a beautiful day outside and I'm like oh my god today would be such a good day to go outside and do a workout or just be outside and to be told that I can't do that has been really hard um so yeah I guess just sitting with the idea that um it's not that I um I don't know but what I'm trying to say is that it's hard to sit with the idea that like you want to do something but you know you can't so then it's like you feel restricted doing it and then it brings up all this anxiety but what I've been trying to remind myself is that for a long time I just tell myself oh I'm not allowed to do that people are telling me I can't do that and that frustrates me because it kind of takes away the control I feel like I have over my own body so I've been trying to reframe that mindset so instead of saying oh I want to go work out right now but so and so says I can't I instead give myself back the power and say I want to go work out today because it's beautiful out but I'm, not, I'm gonna decide not to because I know in the long run that that workout, as good as it might feel in the 30 minutes that I'm doing it, it might set me back maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe a couple of days of me fully healing and restoring and getting my period back. So mainly just focusing on the long run and what taking this rest time is going to give me and how it's gonna benefit me um because i know deep down what having a life where i have a regular cycle and i'm like really at peace with myself and my body is a lot more worth it in the end than giving in and engaging in a 30 minute workout session and that's not to say that if i see it's a beautiful day outside and i'm like oh my god i really want to go outside you don't only have to go outside to work out you can go outside and just lay out there you can go on a walk you can do something but it does not have to be vigorous movement and that's something else I've been really reminding myself of and just keeping in mind because I think a lot of people in eating disorder recovery um, might tend to go to extremes so it's like I can only go outside if I work out or if I'm outside I have to sweat or I have to do something I can't just enjoy it so definitely practicing that is also really important and being mindful about what you're doing but yeah, that's basically kind of what I wanted to say. And I know that um, I think if you're struggling to figure out whether or not you might have a relationship with exercise that needs to be worked on, I would say consider thinking about how if you had to go more than a day or two without exercising, how would you feel? If it brings up a lot of anxiety, then I think that's a definitive red flag that there is something underlying going on and that you need to take a step back and focus on what that could be, like what that possible trigger could be. Yeah, so now I'm going to go to Target with my mom and probably my sister because like I said, we're out of avocados. So, and I kind of wanted to get some other stuff like maybe art supplies or other stuff to keep me busy in this quarantine but yeah so that's kind of where we're at so far in the day three hours later
it is the next day so I forgot to film an outro last night we ended up watching a movie and I just kind of got swept in that that I was too tired by the time we finished the movie so that is going to wrap up this video. I hope this video gave you guys some ideas on things you can make at home, being that you might be in self-isolation or you might have some things on hand that you can use. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Again, I'm gonna be leaving the recipes or the full recipes down in the description box below. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. But yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, be sure to give it a thumbs down. But other than that, I am sending so much love and positive vibes out to all of you guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.